Hi everyone. Okay, we'll we'll get live in about thirty seconds. There's just there's a few more people popping on. Okay, great. Okay, so my my name is Rob Mulcahy. Um, for the next couple of weeks, um, as long as everyone's at home, uh, Claire GA is going to start offering some home PE lessons. Um. And obviously, this one's focused at primary schools. So what we're going to focus on will be um, animal, animal-based movements. Okay. So just to start, let's make sure we have everything set up. Okay. So what you'll need is you'll need a nice, nice bit of space. So kind of a, a relatively uh, big room, just that you can you can move around in. Um, and once you have a lot of space, um, uh, we should be get, we should be able to get going. Okay. So we can start off just to get warmed up. We're just going to do some high knees. So you can start with me. Just go 15 seconds. Try and touch your knees off your hands. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, we'll wait three seconds. Three, two, one. We go again. High knees. So knees up nice and tall. Good stuff. Okay. Three, two, one, last time, 15 seconds, keep going. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the main things that we're gonna look at, just make sure my screen is, is we're gonna look at a lot of animal-based movements. So how animals move, and a lot of these things are kind of movements that uh, we use when we're, we're working inside the gym, okay? so. The first one is going to be a frog. Now, what we need to do is we need to be able to sit down like a frog, okay? So when a frog sits down, he sits down or she sits down as low as they can with their heels on the ground and their chest up, okay? So see, can you sit like a frog like me, okay? If mom or dad are there as well, see, can they sit down like a frog too? So sit down. And see, can we hold here for five seconds, okay? And without falling over or losing our balance, can we stay sitting down with our chest up nice and tall, with our hips down nice and low, and can we look forward like a frog? Okay, so should be, should be, should be easy enough once we get used to it, okay? And try and keep our balance as we sit. So the first thing we're gonna do when we're in frogs is we're gonna learn how to hop and land, okay? So you can take a couple steps back from the screen. We're going to do four hops, and after each hop, we're going to stop, okay? So we'll sit down like a frog. Make sure we're balanced. I'm going to take my hands out in front. They're going to put them on the ground. I'm going to lift and hop. And once I hop, I've got to stop, okay? I can look around for a second, make sure I've got my balance. Then I'll do my second one, hop, stop, look around, Okay? So what we'll do is I get you to do that with me. So we'll do five, four hops forward, we'll turn around, and we'll do four hops back. Okay, so everyone's doing it with me. We'll sit down, down nice and low, hands forward, hop and stop, okay? And when you hop, remember your heels are on the ground, your back is flat, and you're looking up, okay? Now make sure mom and dad are trying it as well. Hands in front, hop, keep your chest up. Four, one, hop. Keep your chest up. Now, when you turn around to go back, see, can you turn around without standing up? Okay, so see, can I stay down nice and low, turn around, and I'm gonna hop and go back. Four hops. Good. Okay, you can stand up for a second. I'm sure your legs are getting a little bit tired. So, just to go back over that, what we wanna focus on when we're frogs is that we sit down nice and low, keep our chest up nice and high, and keep your heels back on the ground, okay? So to make it a little bit uh, more challenging now, we'll kind of hop backwards, okay? So you can start close enough to the screen. You'll sit down like a frog again. Now what's very important is that you stay down as low as you can. So I'm sitting as a frog, my hands go in front, little hop, and I stop. Very small little hop backwards, little hop, and stop. Now, I don't want anyone up this tall trying to hop because it's a long way to the ground. But if you're sitting down nice and low, 
and you hop and you lose your balance, you're only going to here. Okay, and that's why you want a lot of space around you as well. Okay, so I want you to try that with me. So we're all facing the screen. We're gonna do four small little hops backwards. We're gonna turn around and do four more hops back again. Okay, so like me, we'll sit down, hop, and stop. Now make sure when you stop, you get your balance, your chest is up, your heels are on the ground. Push, hop, keep my chest up. I've got my balance. That's three for me. Hop, keep my balance. Hop, keep my balance. Now, when I'm in this position, I'm gonna see, can I turn around without standing up? Okay, can I stay down low? And now can I hop and stay low? Hop, hop. Okay. All right, I'm sure that's getting a bit difficult for, for, for some people, but hopefully uh, it's not, not too bad, okay? So that's our fro frog hops forwards, frog hops backwards, okay? The next one we're gonna look at is a frog walk, okay? So a frog can hop and they can walk as well. So we get back into the same position, so we all know how to sit down like frogs. We sit down, keep our chests up, keep our heels on the ground, and we look forward. Instead of hopping this time, we're gonna walk our feet. So you're gonna try and lift one foot and step, one foot and step, step, step. And each time, make sure you keep your balance, you keep your heels on the ground, you keep your chest up nice and high, okay? So we're gonna see, can we walk forwards, stop, and then we'll stand up and walk back, okay? So you're a good bit away from the screen, You'll squat down or you sit down like a frog. Can you walk like a frog? You can have your hands up to help you balance. And can you walk all the way up to the screen? And once you get to the screen, you can stand back up and then walk back to your start. Okay, so you're all doing it with me. Back again, we'll do three times just to get used to what it's like to walk like a frog. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of a break first. If you want, you can grab a, a quick drink if you're thirsty, but if not, we can go again. So sit down like a frog, we've got our balance. I'm down nice and low, my heels on the ground, and I'm gonna walk, keeping my heels on the ground as I walk, and trying to keep my hips as low as I can. And once I get up towards the screen, stand back up and walk back again. And we'll do it one more time. Okay. Okay, last one, squat down. Sit down like my frog, walk myself forward, keep my hips nice and low. Once I get to the screen, stand up and I'll walk back the stair, okay? So everyone might get a drink, I know I'm gonna get a drink as well. It's, it's tough work. Okay, so you remember when we did the first frog hop, we went forwards, backwards, this time we're gonna go backwards with the frog walk, okay? So we'll all start up right at the screen. So we'll squat down into our frog position. And what I'm gonna do is can I keep my balance and can I walk backwards? Now make sure like me, you see I've got loads of space so I can put my hands out of loads of space. Make sure there's nothing too close to you that you can bang off of, okay? So keep your hips nice and low, walk back. So keep going as long as I'm walking, so don't stop till I'm finished. Can you walk? Can you lift your feet? Okay, we can stand up and walk back up to the screen again. Okay, so nice and easy. You get a little bit of a break. Might take another 10 or 15 seconds just to give ourselves a little bit of a breather. And we'll hop down and we'll go again. Okay, so the keys here are can you sit down like our frogs? Can you be nice and low? Can you keep your feet flat on the ground? And when you walk backwards, can you stay balanced? So no tipping or no falling over, okay? So I'll go back down again, keep my chest up nice and high. Now at this stage, we should be really used to this. My heels on the ground, my chest are up, and I'm gonna start walking backwards by lifting my feet. Okay, keep your chest up. Good. And stand back up, okay? Take our time, walk back up towards the screen. And we'll do it a third and final time, okay? So if we're ready, squat back down, hips down nice and low. I'm gonna hands up, lift my feet, and walk backwards. 
and see can you keep good balance see can you not tip over can you not lose your balance and we stand back up okay so we'll take a about a 30 second break uh just to give your legs a bit of a rest because i know i'm starting to feel feel my ones now as well so we'll take 30 seconds and then we'll move on to the next animal okay so just to recap we've done a frog for hop and we've done a frog that can walk okay so there are two animals that you've done so far today a frog that hops and a frog that walks okay so next one we'll look at is going to be a duck okay so I'll give you another 10 seconds and then we'll start the duck. Okay, so with the duck, what you're going to do is you're going to sit down like the frog, except when you walk forwards, you want to stay on your toes and your knee comes down to the ground as you walk. Okay, so your knee comes down to the ground and you walk. Okay, so I'll go back again. So you'll sit down pretty much like your frog. But as I walk, I'm not lifting my legs. I'm stepping forwards and the back leg, my knee goes to the ground, step forward, back knee to the ground, forward, back knee. Okay, so we'll try that a couple of times. Start away from the screen. We'll walk up towards the, sc uh, up towards the screen. We'll stand up and we'll, we'll walk back, okay? So this is our, our duck walk. So down nice and low. As I step, so if I step my left leg forwards, my right knee goes to the ground, and then the opposite. Okay, and I gotta stay nice and low. Okay, we'll stand up and we'll go back. Okay, ready? We we'll go second one. So squat down nice and low like your like your frog. Okay, now your duck will walk forwards. Keep your knee. Going forward towards the ground. And once you get to the screen again, walk back up. And we'll do it. We'll do it one last time. Okay. Final one. Squat down. We'll walk. Keep our knee down towards the ground. And go forward. Okay. So obviously we'll take a small bit more of a break. And then we'll go on to the next bit. So as you can probably guess, we've already walked forwards for our two frogs, our hopping frog and our walking frog. So for our duck, we've gone forwards as our duck. See now, can we go backwards as our duck? Okay. So you'll start up tall like your duck. And can you walk backwards like your duck? And keep your balance a bit trickier and keep your balance. Okay, so do about four steps back, walk yourself forwards, squat back down. Can you walk backwards? Good, okay. Stand up, walk forwards, we'll do one more. So squat down, walk forward, walk backwards. And keep yourself low and good. Okay, so what we'll try and do is we'll try and put the three of those animals together. Okay, so see if we can remember how to move like the three of those animals. So we'll do our frog hop first, we'll turn around, we'll do our frog walk, and then we'll finish off with doing our duck walk then. Okay, so we'll go up and backwards. And when we turn, see can we turn without standing up? So. Remember, the first one was my frog hop. So I'll go down nice and low. I'm going to hop like my frog and stop each time. Hop like my frog, stop each time. So I'm down in my squat, hop, keep my chips down, hop. And once I get here, so you're doing it with me, we walk around and see can we walk back like our walking duck. Okay. Once we get to the end, we turn around, and now can we walk back up to the screen while walking like our duck, okay? So I'm walking forwards like my duck. Brilliant, okay, excellent stuff. Okay, so we've only got a couple of things left to do, so what we'll do is just to give ourselves a little bit of a break, give our legs a little bit of a rest, we're gonna do a small bit of balancing for the next five minutes, okay? So 
Um, all of us will know what balancing means. So for a lot of us, it's can we stay on one leg without falling over, okay? So what's very important for this, you've got a load of space around you, so you can put your hands around and you can move and there's nothing that you can touch off of, okay? So you've got as much space as possible. I might just tilt up, okay? So what we're gonna focus on is standing on one foot and seeing can we keep our balance. So we start very, very simple. Start with your right foot on the ground and you're gonna lift your left foot just out in front. Okay, a little bit of a bend in this knee, put your hands up by the side, and what we'll do is I'll set a timer, and we'll see can we get to 30 seconds while keeping our balance. Now that means that we can't touch our left foot off the ground, okay? So start on my right leg, a little bit of a bend in my knee, take my left foot out in front, bring my hands up, and I have my clock going now, 30 seconds. So see can we balance, I'll see can I do it as well? So you want to avoid doing anything like this. See, can we keep our balance? Okay, that is 10 seconds. If you're still going with me, that's excellent. We're up to 15 seconds. See, can we get all the way up to 30 seconds on our right leg? Okay, with another 10 seconds. Almost there, should be getting tough now. See if you've managed to keep your foot off the ground for the whole time. Good, okay. You can shake out that leg you were standing on and we'll go on to the opposite leg then. Okay, so I'll stand on my left leg. I'm gonna lift my right leg up off the ground. Hands out to the side and going in three, two, one. Can we get 30 seconds on your left leg? Now for me, my left leg isn't my stronger of my two legs. So this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me. See, can you, can you balance better than I can? So we want to avoid any big movements. You want to have as little movement as you need as possible. So if you're doing a lot of this, try and set yourself again and just see, can you make sure that your knee doesn't move? Okay, that's what we're focusing on. I'm thinking about my knee. My knee isn't going left or right or forwards or backwards. Okay. And we're in 30 seconds in three, two, one. Okay. So that might have been pretty easy for a lot of you. So to make it a little bit more difficult, we'll make it a small bit more challenging. We'll start to lift, lift our leg upwards, okay? So I'm gonna balance on my right leg again. This time, I'm gonna take my leg up and try and have my knee over my hip, okay? So that's, that's my hip here. I'm gonna try and bring my knee over my hip when I'm standing, okay? So I'll go from the side. So I'm balancing on my right leg. I lift my knee over my hip, and from there, hands out to the side, and we'll see, can we get 30 seconds again, okay? So we're going three, two, one, hands up, see, can we balance? Now, all you're really thinking about, so this is going to make it more challenging, my leg being up, but all you're really thinking about is, what's my knee doing? I don't want my knee to be doing this, okay? So I want to keep my knee very, very tight, and I want to try not to move my knee as much as possible, Okay? That's 20 seconds already, so if you haven't dropped, that's absolutely brilliant. We have 10 seconds left. Okay, three, two, one, brilliant. Okay, shake off that leg again, might be a little bit tired. We're gonna stand on our left leg and we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna lift my knee over my hip, have my hands out, and all I'm thinking about is I don't want my knee doing too much movement, okay? So on my left leg, Lift my knee over my hip, hands out to the side, and ready in three, two, one, go. See, can you get to 30 seconds without moving? Now I'll go to the side just so you can see where I want your standing knee. So your standing knee is bent, your leg that's up is at 90 degrees, and then we're up nice and tall. Okay, and all I'm thinking about is what's my knee doing? If my knee is moving, I'm really concentrating on my knee. Can I keep it still? Okay. We have gone 25 seconds, three, two, one, and go. Okay, so we'll do two more, uh, two more ways of balancing, and then we'll go back to a couple more of our uh, animal movements, okay? So this one's gonna be a Superman, so it's gonna be like you're, like you're flying, but we're gonna be standing on one leg, okay? So we'll go back to your right leg. I'll start my right leg, and I just have my knee a little bit bent on my right leg. I have 
My left leg lifted up, and I'm going to try and move my left leg backwards and tip my chest over, okay? Now, we're not going to go the whole way first. We'll start off just a little bit of movement. So my left leg goes back, my hips and my chest tip forward, hands out. So I'm going to be about here with my leg bent. So my knee is going to be bent. It's not going to be straight. And see, can I balance? Okay? So if you're ready to go with me, we'll go in three, two, one, go. Okay? So remember, I'll go from the side just so you can see. I just want a little bit of a bend in your back leg, hands are up, and see, can you balance? Now, you're really fine that your knee's going to want to jump around and move, but be very conscious. Try and make sure that your knee isn't moving, okay? And we're staying as balanced as we possibly can. We've got another 10 seconds to go. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, so we'll swap over to the other leg, take a little bit of a shake of that one. And we'll be going in three seconds. So same again, I'm gonna be on my left leg, I'm gonna lift my leg up, I'm gonna move it back just a tiny bit and see can I balance. Okay, we're going in three, two, one. See can I keep my balance? I'll go from the side just so you can see. Just a small bit of a bend in my back leg and see can I stay balanced. Whoa, it's getting a bit tough here for me on this leg. Okay, that's 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 more seconds. So bring it out if you've got this far. And three, two, one, and down. Okay, so we've only got about 10 minutes left. So we're gonna do the last couple of animal movements. So next one is gonna be a bear crawl. Okay, so we're gonna, Gonna crawl like bears. And um, so I'll get into the position to start with. So what I want you to do is I want you to start on your knees. Okay, so you start on your knees, you bring your hands forward, and from here, all I want you to do is go up on your toes. Now, when we walk like bears, I want you to lift your hips up a tiny bit off the ground. So your knees will be a little bit off the ground, you won't be like this in the air. Okay, so I'll go back to that again. Your toes will be into the ground and you'll be on your knees. Just drop your hands onto the ground like a bear and lift your knees off the ground. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll walk towards the screen and what's going to move is your right hand, sorry, your right hand and your left leg is going to move. Okay. So I lift my knees a little bit off the ground. My right hand and my left leg move and then my left hand and my right leg move. It's going to be the opposite hand to leg move each time. And the whole time that I'm moving, I'm making sure that my hips are low, okay? So we'll do it together. So I'll start back a bit from the screen. Just give myself five or six steps up to the camera and then I'll, I'll walk back, okay? So I'm in my all four position, lift my knees off the ground. So I'm gonna move my opposite hand to leg. So you can be doing it with me. Okay, and when we get to the screen, we can walk back from the screen. Okay, so we'll do it again. Just make sure when you're moving that your knees are a little bit off the ground and what's moving is opposite hand, opposite leg. Okay, so I'll go back up to the screen again. So I lift my knees off, right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg. And keep my hips low as I walk. Okay. Once I get to the screen, we can walk back for a couple of steps. Back down and we'll do it one more time. So opposite hand, opposite leg is what moves. So in my all four position, lift my knees up off the ground, left hand, right leg, right hand, left leg. Keep myself nice and low to the ground. It should be really challenging. Once I get to the screen, I can hop myself up and I can walk back again, okay? And we'll do it, uh, we'll do it a different time, different way this time. So we went left hand, right leg that time, and then we did opposite. This time we'll try and challenge ourselves a little bit and see can you move your right hand and your right leg together, okay? So I'll go from the side so you can see. What that would look like is I go back into the same position, I lift my hips, and now I wanna move my right hand and my right leg, my left hand and my left leg. 
Okay? So think about what you're doing here because it's different to what you did the last time. The last time you went left hand, right leg. This time you're going right hand, right leg. Okay? So it's the same on either side. So keep my knees down. Keep my hips low. Right hand, right leg. So you can do it with me. We're going to walk up the screen. Right hand, right leg. Left hand, left leg. Right hand, right leg. Left hand, left leg. And we keep moving like that. Keep myself low so I don't want my hips to go up. Okay, good. And when I get to the screen, we'll walk ourselves back up. Okay? So we'll do it two more times, going up to the screen and walking back. So down. Lift my knees up. And I'm going right hand, right leg, up to the screen. Once I get to the screen, walk myself back, okay? And try and get them moving exactly together so they're not moving separately. So you should feel it in your shoulders and your stomach. Good, okay. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to the first bear, so the one that went opposite sides, and we'll see, can we walk backwards? Okay, so I'll set up and just demonstrate from the side. So I'll be down on all fours. So what I want to move is my left hand, my right leg, but I want to go backwards, okay? And small movements as I go backwards. So I'll start up. So I want to move my right leg and my left hand, my left leg and my right hand, okay? So difficult enough, but we'll do a couple of times going up and down. I'll start up with the screen. So if you start up the screen with me and we'll go backwards towards the table, walk forwards and then go backwards again. Okay, now make small little movements. Keep your hips low. You'll feel it everywhere. You'll feel it in your arms, your stomach. It's quite, it's quite tough, but if you can get this far, it's brilliant. Okay, so I'll start in my all fours position. Lift my knees up off the ground. So that's all, I'm, that's as much as I lift them up off the ground, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to move my left hand, my right leg, and I'm going to go backwards. So left hand, Right leg, keep myself low, then the opposite side. And see, can I keep walking backwards? Okay, good. All right, we'll walk ourselves back up to the screen again. And we'll just do it two more times. We'll recap what we did today and then we'll finish until Wednesday, okay? So back down, lift my knees up off the ground. I'm going to go right hand, left leg, and keep moving the opposite ones backwards. Brilliant. Okay. So just to go over everything again. So we looked at a frog. So how to sit like a frog. So I sit down nice and low, keep my heels on the ground, keep my chest up, and I sit like a frog. So I shouldn't be tipping over. I shouldn't be falling. Okay. The first movement we looked at what the frog can do, the frog can hop. So she, can, the frog can put their hands in front. They can hop and stop. Okay. The next one we looked at was a frog that walks. So I sit down and I want to lift my legs like a frog and walk forwards, okay? Next one we looked at then was, was a duck. So a duck can move, sit down like a frog and can it walk. And the last one we looked at then was a bear, okay? So a bear goes down like this and moves forward, okay? So there are four animal movements. We'll be back on again on Wednesday to see if you can practice a couple more of your animal movements over the next day. So tomorrow and a little bit more today if you're not too tired. And then on Wednesday, we'll go back over it again. Okay. So thanks a million for everyone who, who jumped on and um, we'll hope to see you all again on Wednesday. Okay. Thank you.